Hey everyone, this is Manly Badass Hero, and welcome to Stigmatized Property, a Japanese horror game from Chilla's Art, where you get an apartment with really cheap rents, and that's a good thing. Alright, so this is one of the Chilla's Art's actually older games. I think, uh. He suddenly invited me to his house, I wonder why. I've played the their more recent ones, but I haven't really played their older games, so I'm checking them out now. What's this? Hey, I got money. Is this money collecting game? I'm all about that. I hope this is the right way. Is there anything off the beaten path? There is. Sure. Okay, so there are secrets. Let's remember that. Okay, so we're gonna backtrack around here a little bit. Um, it's very dark. I see. It looped around that one uh, crossroads. Don't want to go there. So it's making the road. Feels like it's important. God, that's so bright. So we're sitting behind that building. What about to the left? Anything back here? Hard for me to tell because it's so dark. Oh, here we go. Pray. Okay, I think we've seen everything. We're gonna something back there. What is this? Oh no. Poor thing. Ah, oh, footsteps. Look over here first. Looks a little too dark over here. I don't really see anything. Chalazar definitely improved their lighting in the later games. Hey, so that's where the smell was coming from. Can I collect the fish? Guess not. He told me to be in the apartment room 104. Frog. Nice frog. Anything over here? No, that's a dead end. Nice car. Pray. It feels slightly warmer. Is it just my imagination? Gotta always make sure you pray at the shrines in a horror game. Shrines protect you from things. Hey, secrets. Never mind. I'm assuming our apartment's upstairs. 104 would imply it's the first floor. But I'm gonna go upstairs anyway. There really is no one. I can't just wait outside. I need to get in. Do you say there's a spare key somewhere? I forget where, though. I guess it was locked. Let's see. Hold up. No, I remember now. It should be in the lemon tree pot. Money is more important. Okay, can't do anything else there. There. Alright, 50 yen to my name. We are parting tonight. Hey, this is a pretty nice apartment for, uh... Outside it was kinda... But inside it's, you know, look! It's pretty nice! 
あんたけねえ広すごくいいところじゃん。Well, this room looks really good for an apartment. Yeah, right. See? 40 Celsius. Oh my god, he even has a closet. He's got a nice bed. Apartment like this in Japan? What? Oh, it comes with donuts. My god. It comes with donuts and coffee ready for me. Two, no, two plates of donuts and coffee. It's ever, it's ever liquor or that's water, and I'm hoping it's liquor. Oh my god. Oh my god. Check the bathroom. Oh. Check that room. Nope, never mind. Check the view. I have no reflection. I'm a vampire. But still, check the view. Awful. But still, nice apartment. Strange. The last seven pages are torn. Ah, so you want me to find seven pages, huh? There's bottles everywhere. I'm in paradise. Oh my god, look at this. Oh man. Oh man, this is just something. We are living the good life. And it's cheap too, supposedly. What's that? Oh, whatever. What is that? I'm gonna spy hole? Hey, paper. Look for the hole? Sure. What do my archer eyes see? I don't know, but this is kind of weird. April 4th. Well, a lot of fours. Moving is over at last, and today marks the first day living alone, and also the first day writing a journal. I really look forward to the experience. I've always dreamed of it. I decided to move here because the rent is very cheap. I honestly can't believe that a broke student like me can afford such a nice room. Plus, it's really close to my school. How amazing is that? I ate out with my parents today to celebrate the move, and they were both laughing and just having a great time. Living alone is a great meal, but man, I'm going to miss these faces. They told me that they're going to be here for only a couple of days. They kept telling me how worried they are, but they're just overthinking. They don't have to worry about a thing. I'm gonna do just fine. I take it the joke is they didn't do just fine. Now what about you? Oh, okay, there we go. Paper's wet. I need to find a way to dry it. It's just stupid, but okay. Today, I took the whole day just setting everything up in the room. God, there's so many fours, like April, fourth month. Four, uh, I think it was an apartment 104. I just want to lay down that whole four is evil thing. What used to be a room of a small luggage and a simple bed now became a room of a bunch of furniture and whopping queen-size bed. The previous tenant left everything and the owner was too lazy to get rid of them. Dad seemed like to like this house so badly, he said he'd like to stay a little longer. But as much as I appreciate their company, I'd like to live life already. The owner came to say hello today. He looked like he could use a little sleep, though. What was wrong with him? He shook my hand with a big smile on his face. Told me how grateful he was for someone to finally rent the room. And how he stopped smiling right when he let my hand go. That was way too weird. Anyways, the new semester starts tomorrow. Gotta get ready. Hmm. So I guess it's just, just a, a diary paper finder. And go out. Hey, crow. Give me that. Damn you, crow. 
Let me solve my puzzles in peace. Will the crow exchange that paper for a fish? I thought this would go to a cat, but... I mean, I don't think crows are... Hey! Hey! What's that? Hey, free money! Hey, thanks for the money! Sorry I yelled at you. Oh yeah, almost have a whole dollar. Here you go. I guess it was sad for the fish. Well, it's a nice apartment. I don't sense anything fishy yet. Except for the fish, of course. Today was the first day of the semester. It's good to see my boys again. They want to come see my new apartment, but I don't know. I'm not fuck anything up. Mashima Sensei is my homeroom teacher. I wonder what kind of teacher she is. Oh, she's not mean like the previous one. That guy was an asshole. Every weird thing happened today. When I got out of the room this morning, some middle-aged ladies across the street gathered and talked bad about this apartment. A woman of that age likes to gossip a lot. It's probably whatever. Oh yeah. Probably whatever. You know it. I feel like the dead cat's kind of like a... What was the dead cat? It was kind of a bad omen. Hmm. That's not good. I would have been jump scared by that, but I kind of... I kind of expected something to happen, so I was just like, braced myself. You know, you, you approach a shadowy figure in the, uh... In an alley, and yeah. I think you're kind of just ready for about anything, aren't you? Still though, this apartment's great. It's a great apartment. Isn't this his mother's car? It's locked. Did I pick up a key earlier? Oh, here we go. Who are you? Knock. Hello? Are you okay? Why is he just standing there? Hey! Oh god, these are talismans. I just realized. I thought this was just a wood texture. We have messed up. Hey, free ladder. Apartment mill. This apartment cannot be demolished. I tried to call a contractor by trying to destroy it, but for some reason the phone line stops working. My mother suddenly becomes ill. I hope it isn't related. The local priest will not come. I tried asking other people to ask the priest. The priest got into an accident and died. Talismans are useless. I bought a box of talismans and stuck them on the walls. I'm not sure we can just buy those. But they're all burned the next day. Whenever I put a talisman on the wall, the word curse will continue to appear in my head. The apartment does not catch fire. The building repels fire. The apartment must continue to sell. A resident will be chosen every month. The chosen one will be possessed in a week. And after possession, the person completely disappears from this world. And no one remembers a thing about the person. I keep having nightmares. And a strange voice keeps telling me to bring human. I can't sell the apartment. I can't let them hurt my family. Someone please help me. Bring human. So was that the... I think that's his outline right there, right? I guess I'm gonna bring one thing at a time. So I wasn't paying full attention in the beginning. Are we the, the, the teacher or someone coming to visit? Hey! Hey! What was that? No. I said hello to my fellow neighbors today. That's a polite thing to do, right? Always be nice to your neighbors, right, Mom? But you know what, Mom? I don't think that works here. 
because I just got cold shoulders from them. When I said good morning to the neighbor on the right, he just stared at me with his blue, big eyes. And without a word from his mouth, he shut the door on me. Even now, his big cat-like eyes won't leave my head. Ah, oh, it should be too rude. I'll probably give it another go some other time. Anyways, today I saw a girl look just like the girl in Shibaki Bara 89 in my class. Her name's Mira, and I like to get to know her. And from what I heard, she's single and ready to mingle. How lucky I'm excited for tomorrow. I guess we're Mira. Ah. Uh, fine. What do I hear? Evil. I picked up something. Key, maybe? I can honestly cannot tell what I'm picking up a lot of times, the way the, the way the graphics work. Oh, I know. No, it was money. What? <laughs> oh, a person. Hey. Crap! I made a stupid mistake! Wait a minute. It's not just the room, and the whole apartment's haunted. Okay. Hey, money. Now, what did I need to use a ladder for? weird noises that I always like freak out man this is right oh I see a paper it's still a little weird to have no reflection but that's okay Mom came over to my room again. Oh, I told her she doesn't have to come anymore. I think she had a fight with Dad again. Her passive-aggressive attitude got to me, so I asked her how Dad is doing. She refused to talk about it, instead just sat there quietly. I'd never seen her like this before. She would usually put a fake smile on her face after a fight. I would notice that. But it just wasn't that this time. An hour or so later, she regained her usual positivity when she asked me if I could invite my old-time friend Sayaka. She had the biggest smile when I agreed to it. Mom must be worried for me to live alone still. I only have Mirachan in my mind right now, though. Huh. But that smile. Her eyes weren't smiling. That view looks awful now. Like, it's a terrifying view. I kind of understand what's going on here. So I guess the mom was already gone to by the apartment? And then... It needs to invite people over. So... Mira herself is invited to become more sacrifices for the apartment. And I think it's every door, every person here is... Because look, there's only one car and it said there was the mom's car, right? So she's already been taken. Spooky. Oh, here's the car key. It was near the car the entire time. Sweet. Free paper. Wait a minute. Cut it out. April 9th. I was able to talk to Mira Chan today. What a great day. Except for one thing. Mom was gone when I woke up this morning. Her car was still parked here and it's on for her to leave without notice. I hope Dad picked her up or something because the car is still here. I invited Sayaka today and said she'd come tomorrow. I hope this makes her happy again. Alright, so one left. 
Okay. Hmm. That's odd. I see crumbled up paper in one of the slots. It says it costs a hundred yen. Need to find some change. I love the spin money. There we go. Last one. Not nothing creepy happened this time. There's no escape. I can't read the rest. I'll call him late, I need to get home. Shh. Okay, thank God. Um. Yeah, I'm just gonna go now. Sure, see you guys later. I looked back repeatedly as I felt I was constantly being watched. No matter how many times I looked, no one was there. I couldn't handle the fear. I walked as fast as I could. He was absent from school the next day, as he was occupied by someone else. I tried asking his friends and teachers, but none of them knew or even heard of his name. Wait, so it wipes you from existence? That's an efficient apartment. After school, I went to the same apartment. However, the apartment was sold. According to locals, the place had been on sale for a while. Where did the apartment go? And the boy I knew and loved, where did he go? Was it all my dream? Come to think of it. I don't remember his name either. Wait, who am I even talking about? The end. Result saved. This is the we just walked away and left ending. The, the smart ending, we're just like, yeah, nah, we ain't doing this. Alright, let's do the next ending. There is no escape, I can't read the rest. I'm calmly, I need to get home. Now this time I'm not sure. We didn't go to the shrines this time. I'm not sure if it was a good outcome. Okay, I think we're still good. No, the door is locked. Door is locked. Oh no. Look through? Sure. It's the family. They're behind me. Crap! Old people! The end. Result possessed. So that's it for stigmatized property. So... Like I said, I guess the apartment... You actually can see, like, one of the ghosts at the back here. I kind of notice it now on the right. That's, um... Oh, there's another one to the left, under the stairs. And there's one in the middle, the door. In fact, there's a bunch of them here. That's actually kind of upsetting to me. But yeah. So I guess the whole apartment block, that whole thing is all haunted by ghosts or yokai or whatever, what have you. And it needs sacrifices. It lures people in with cheap rent because you saw that that apartment. It was really nice. And the rent was cheap. You would not say no to that. Trust me. And this is inner city. So I'm just saying, you would not say no to that. So it lures you in. And then within a week or less, it gets you. He grabs you, you join the, the family of ghosts here. And I guess it's somewhat infectious, because it got his parents before it got the main guy. So it got the dad first, because the dad's like, I want to stay here with you, etc, etc. So he's already, they already got him. And then they got the mom, who's all like gloomy and stuff, and it's like, oh, I can invite your friend Sayaka. It's like, oh! And then they mentioned the neighbor had cat eyes. So, I'm trying to track the amount of ghosts there was. I... You saw the mom and dad ghost. There was the the young guy, the one who had the apartment ghost. I'm assuming one ghost was Saika, but there was another woman there. Um, I don't know if that was another connection to the family or not. But yeah, uh, kind of a shortish, um, somewhat chilly. I know I'm using the word chilly because it's chill as art, but somewhat chilly horror game. One of the better ones, I think, as far as pacing I played from them. 
nothing really happens too much, but you know, nothing that really necessarily had to happen. It just needed to lure us in with nice rents, give us a few scares, and then call it a day. A kind of horror that can happen to anybody. If you live in the inner city, anyway. <laughs> anyway. So, thank you all for watching Play Stigmatized Property. I'll see you guys later, and take it easy.